I just filmed an intro for this vlog outside, but it's really windy today, so the audio is almost certainly useless. So today we're doing a day in the life of, a day in the life vlog, of what it looks like when I go to the studio to shoot my content for YouTube, for my website, for my online courses. I'm in the studio building now and we're about to get started. We're in for an eight hour shoot today, filming new, sorry, I'm out of breath been walking upstairs. So yeah, as I was saying, shooting new content for the new Bulletproof Guitar Player 2.0 courses. This is the last day I've been sh reshooting these for like a year now. So today marks the last day of me doing this. So today is the last day of shooting, hopefully, for the new Bulletproof Guitar Player courses. I'm just getting everything together for the shoot now. I'm gonna walk over there soon and then we'll get started. We're in for eight hours today. Same as always, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Lunch break in the middle. Lots of lessons to cram in today, so hopefully we get everything done. Bit of a mess. All right, this is my mono dual gig bag, which actually carries two guitars, but I've only got my Strat in this one. And then the second pocket, I just crammed that full with cables and microphones. And then in the tick, I've got the Quad Cortex, which fits really nicely in there. Hard drives, headphones, laptop and notepad and stuff is in this pocket. Uh, SD cards and whatnot. It is a heavy, heavy beast. I don't know how much this weighs when I've got everything in it, but it is, yeah, walking for like longer than 20, 30 minutes with it is a challenge. And then I've got this bag as well, just full of cables, a teleprompter and other things that we need for the shoot. It's actually almost 10 a.m. so I really need to get going. So I'm not joking when this thing is heavy, awkward to carry around a strap in. And then I get my other bag, which is on the floor. And that goes on the front. It's hard to get in place, but you know, if I fall over forward or backwards, I've got some nice padding. I've got, you know, my 2000 pound laptop to, to take the brunt of the fall if I fall backwards. So that's nice. Yeah, it's a pain walking with all this stuff on my back, but it's, uh, it's not so bad when it's a nice day. It's a nice crisp winter morning in Edinburgh. It's been a while since I filmed in public. It always feels awkward. Unfortunately, this part of town is quite quiet, so there's not a lot of people to point and stare. All right, we are at the studio building now. Just about to take the elevator upstairs. This elevator always takes like progressively longer and longer and longer to um, actually show up and move. We think it's going to break one day, but hopefully not today. We're dealing with I really don't know how I don't know how much this weighs it feels like it might be like 15 20 kilos kind of like wearing a really inconvenient weighted vest but yeah I'm late today so need to get it set up fast What's up guys? Yeah. You're in my vlog now. Hey vloggers! This is Gareth, runs the studio. John, videographer. All right, we are pretty much set up now. It usually takes us about 45 minutes to an hour to get everything together. Um, we were both just laughing about the fact that we never actually get here on time, so that plays into it. But yeah, I'll just show you the setup really quick. So this is what I see when I'm sat down recording. We've got this sort of side light for the guitar. We put this, um, John, what do you call this circle thing? Okay, this like light diffuser. dampener. Diffuser, yeah, that's the word. Got this diffuser on it, which actually, when we started using that, it makes the light on the guitar look really nice and soft. So I've got my Strat, Quad Cortex for all the tones, 
I do use neural plugins as well, but today we're just doing quad cortex for simplicity's sake. Uh, then I've got these IK Multimedia iRig, uh, no, iLoud micro monitors. These are like one of the best investments I've made for this setup. They are absolutely tiny. I mean, there's my coffee for scale. They weigh nothing. I, when we first started coming in here, I was using massive, heavy Yamaha monitors and dragging them around in a suitcase with all my stuff, but now I've got these. So they just go in the backpack, the Apollo Twin um, interface. Uh, this is an M1 MacBook Pro, 14 inch. What cameras do we use? Because people are going to ask. Uh, Sony A7R3s. Sony A7R3s. Okay, so we've got one for the guitar and then one for my face. And this one, we have a teleprompter on it. So I can't really show you it now because I, I use the phone as a teleprompter, but the phone usually goes in this little slot here. And then uh, over here, I'm able to control it on my iPads, which is really handy. I know we've got another light here and this Rode NTG2 A plus, I think, shotgun mic for capturing my voice. But in addition to the Rode shotgun mic, I've also got this, who makes this, this Rode, um, lavalier. lavalier. Yeah, so this has like a receiver um, on that camera and it's wireless. So people are always asking me, what's that on your strap? It's just a lav mic. We use it, I've started using it for YouTube videos a lot because it's just easy to have the, have like good quality like uh, dialogue audio just like in the video file already rather than exporting through logic and processing and stuff. But for my course content, it's just been used as a backup. And so far we haven't had to, I haven't had to use this audio for any of the course videos. So we get the nice crisp audio from the actual shotgun mic. So before every shoot, well, before we start actually shooting any real content, we just do a couple of test shots, import the footage, just to make sure that it looks consistent with previous weeks, and it does. So yeah, we're good to go. Just shooting course content today. So I've got a bunch of scripts here for the new Bulletproof Guitar Player 2.0 courses, which are coming early 2023. So if you wanna be one of the first people to hear about the release of them, then sign up to my mailing list. The link is in the description box and you'll get a discount when they're launched. I forgot to bring water with me, so I need to go and get some before we start, because it's gonna be like six hours of me just talking at a camera. And uh, yeah, voice is usually hurting after it, so. Windy day today in Edinburgh. So yeah, gonna go get some water and then get cracking. Um, we've been shooting in the studio for like a year and a half now. It was last summer that we started going there and really like the place. But not long after we started going there, a tattoo studio opened up in the, the room opposite. And the walls are quite thin. So we were kind of worried that we weren't gonna be able to shoot there for much longer because, you know, tattoo guns are loud but fortunately it's these silent tattoo guns that they use so there's, there's no like loud buzzing coming from the the next room occasionally they do have like loud music playing so i've had to go in and like tell them to turn it down a few times it's always nice and awkward but yeah and then it's not such a busy part of town but occasionally you'll get like sirens and stuff going past so so let's look at some examples of this in the solo So let's look at some examples of this in the solo. You have to take a break and stop and wait for them to go so you can get carried on with the, the videos. But yeah, overall we like shooting here. It's close to where I live. And I really like the, the daily routine of filming. Like we come in, we'll do usually a couple of hours of filming, then go to lunch. 
uh, at this like Korean street food place. It's nearby. It's really decent. And then we come back, get a coffee, and then do another four or five hours of shooting after that. So yeah, all in all, it's a good day. I'm exhausted mentally at the end of it. So just been talking for hours, but um, yeah, I really like this. I really like the, the video shoot days. All right, we've shot three lessons so far. Not as much as I would have liked to have gotten done in the time that we've had so far, but I had some issues with my teleprompter. It's supposed to like listen to my voice and track the words on screen and move, but for whatever reason, it wasn't moving. So yeah, I just had to fiddle around with that and figure out a workaround. Yeah, so we usually go to this place called Bundits, which is nearby. It's like this kind of quirky Korean street food place. The food is really decent, but they have like the most bizarre music in there. It's always like, like classic 80s songs, but remixed versions and not good remixes. It's strange, but uh, yeah, we like it. So we're going to go there and get some lunch. Yeah, the lunch break is definitely necessary on an eight hour shoot because it's just, that's only been like an hour and a half of just talking at the camera um, nonstop. So yeah, you need, I need that mental break. All right, we're making some good progress with the shoot. Refueled after lunch. We've just been shooting solo lessons for the new Bulletproof Guitar Player courses. I think I mentioned that's what we're shooting today. Last week I, I shot the lessons. They were sort of half improvised, half composed. Then I sent them away to get transcribed and uh, I got the transcriptions back. So this week I'm filming like the actual breakdown, the analysis of the solos. So, that students watching the course in the future can get an idea of how I'm visualizing the fretboard when I'm playing solos with modes and melodic and harmonic minor scales as well. Still got quite a lot to get through. I don't know if we're gonna manage it all today. But if not, we'll get it all done in the next one. We're almost finished reshooting the Bulletproof Guitar Player stuff. So very excited to get it finished and get it released for you guys early next year. Uh, John just informed me we've actually filled up both of these 256 gig SD cards already. And we've got a little over three hours of the shoot left. So uh, fortunately, I brought all my hard drives with me so I can dump this footage now. And then we can continue on with the shoot. If I did not have these hard drives with me, we would be fucked, so. All right, we are finished for the day. That was a long one. I'm not used to filming, like, constantly the past few sessions we've done. Um, I've been a bit more laid back, but I definitely over-prepared for today. Like, I, I had more lessons uh, prepared than we had the time to shoot which is good, it means I'm better prepared for the next one. We almost got all of the course lessons shot that I wanted to get today. Not quite, but that means for the next shoot, I'm already, I already have those lessons prepared so we can just come right in and, you know, get into them right away. So that's most of the new Bulletproof Guitar Player stuff shot, finally. It's been about over a year since I started reshooting these. And the reason it's taken me so long is I've kind of, well, I've tried to balance uh, YouTube work and bonus content for the website, which, I make, which I'm making every month at the minute. Um, I've tried to balance that with shooting the new courses and not burning out. So now I'm coming to the end of that and uh, it feels good to finally have them all shot and be a lot closer to getting them released early next year. So yeah, Mailing list sign up link will be in the description box beneath the video if you want to hear about the launch of those new courses. I'm going to head home now, import the footage, eat my dinner, and then probably just go straight to bed at like, I don't know, eight o'clock. It's like six now. So we've just finished in the nick of time. John does a really great job with the videos, like uh, all the videos and sick angles and stuff that you've seen in my videos over the past year. That's all been John behind the cameras. I always hated doing the filming myself because I don't actually know that much about cameras and I've always 
uh, neglected to actually learn. So um, I still do all my editing myself. I enjoy that and enjoy seeing it all come together. That's fun for me. Uh, I enjoy that creative process, but yeah, doing the actual like getting things in focus and all that. That's anyone who's like filmed themselves at home with cameras knows it's a pain in the ass trying to get yourself in focus, especially if you don't have like monitors or anything to, to watch. So um, yeah, having someone else like be able to like set up good angles and good lighting it just makes a world of difference. This approach though, I mean, if you're considering doing this yourself at some point, filming your own instructional content or whatever content it may be in a professional in a professional capacity, um, if you wanna do this, it is much more expensive, obviously, to hire someone to do the videography and then hire a studio to shoot the content in. I mean, just to give you an idea of costs, like I spend, I think 390 pounds every time I come in here to do an eight hour shoot between uh, John's fee and then between the studio hire itself and I'm in here usually twice a month this month's been a bit more this is the third shoot we've done in three weeks just because there's been a lot to cram in before Christmas time but yeah the average month I'm in here twice so it's costing me basically 800 pounds a month to shoot my videos which is you know it's a lot of money but the result is I have videos that when I put them online, I'm, I feel like really proud of the work that we do in here. It looks professional. Like, and every time I get a comment from someone who says something positive about the quality and the style and the aesthetic of the videos, that really means a lot. Because <laughs> if I never got any of those comments, I'd be like, oh my God, what have I spent all this money on? But in terms of shooting the the revamped versions of Bulletproof Guitar Player is something I've been thinking about doing for years. And I am so glad that I waited until we started shooting in this studio to do it because there were times where I thought of, of doing it in my studio room back at my flat, which wouldn't have been nearly as good quality as, as what we've been able to get in here in the studio. And like I said, it's been a year plus of reshooting this content. For those wondering, the curriculum is much the same for the courses. I have added some new content, but the main differences are video quality is just so much, so much better than the originals. Another big difference that is gonna make it easier to learn from these courses is the amount of fretboard diagrams that I've included in the edits. Uh, for the first course alone, there was something like 900 fret diagrams that I made for the lessons in that course that are in the videos. And I haven't even started making diagrams for the second one. So yeah, it's gonna be a much, much better viewing and learning experience for students of Bulletproof Guitar Player moving forward. And I'm just really, really excited because I feel like this is marking the beginning of a new chapter in my career. And 2023, I'm really looking forward to 2023. There's a couple of other things on the horizon for me that I can't talk about yet, but they're on their way. And yeah, there's gonna be some pretty massive life changes and yeah, improvements in 2023. And this is one of them, releasing the new Bulletproof Guitar Player courses and a new Bulletproof Guitar Player website. We've got a new website coming as well to coincide with the launch of the new courses. So. That's exciting too, because the current website is, eh, it's all right, kind of does the job, but I don't want something that just, that just does the job. I want something that people love using. All right, I'm back home now, just importing all of this footage that we got today. And I am absolutely exhausted, so I am just gonna import these files, gonna leave them to import overnight, and then, yeah, get to bed, because I'm done. I'm getting up at like 5 a.m. these days. I've got a lot of different projects on the go. You know, I have to be productive, I have to be getting up early um, if I want to be productive, but also stay on top of my fitness and health, which is um, something that I'm passionate about, and 
I have let slip in the past in order to make progress with work, but that's something that I just don't allow myself to do these days. So yeah, waking up early is a must for me at the minute. So I'm gonna get these files imported, go straight to bed, wake up at five tomorrow, and then yeah, get on with whatever work tasks I have to do tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life vlog. This is not an average day for me. This is like, as I was saying earlier, we do the video shoots like twice a month. So the rest of my days are a bit different. It's mostly spent in this studio room, um, writing up video ideas, editing videos. So if you would like to see like an average day in the life of what I typically just get up to work-wise, health-wise, fitness-wise, then let me know and I'll see what I can do. To be honest, I didn't think I was gonna enjoy filming this today because anytime I've vlogged in the past, I just, I've always felt like an idiot. Um, especially in public, I really, I don't like filming myself talking to a camera in public, but it wasn't so bad today. I, I kind of enjoyed it even. I would say I enjoyed it. So yeah, maybe there's gonna be more to come. I don't know, but I hope this gave you some insight into what it's actually like when I shoot these videos because I realize I haven't posted any content like this in years. It's just been guitar lessons. So now I'm just saying stuff. So I'm probably just gonna kill it here. Please subscribe for more. Sign up to the Bulletproof Guitar Player 2.0 mailing list in the description box again. You'll be one of the first people to hear about the release of those new courses when they're ready. And you'll also get a nice discount if you sign up to that mailing list. So yeah, do that. I'm going to bed. You know.